Hi, I'm Anay Vardia from American Standard Circuits. I wanted to spend a few minutes talking to you about a pro an R&D project we did recently called the Kitchen Sink Board. The project started out as a RF metal core board with FR4 and RF materials. So the top four layers was an RF microwave built from Rogers. We then had a metal core, a copper metal core in the middle. And then we had eight layers of FR4 on the bottom side. Um, there are blind vias on the RF portion. There are blind vias on the FR4 portion. And then there are, um, there are through vias that go through the copper. So obviously we had to insulate the vias so that the entire board doesn't short. So that was phase one of the project. So the customer got that, they were very happy, and ultimately they decided that they wanted to take the next step. They actually wanted to go and now replace some of the connectors. So they really wanted to convert that board from a rigid metal core RF microwave on the top, digital on the bottom, to a rigid flex metal core board. So essentially, we ended up in a very major development project. The board kind of looks like this, where you have, the, you have the rigid portion here, there's a rigid portion here, and then there is a flex portion here. Okay, so we now come on to the next phase of the development of the circuit board. So essentially, the customer wanted to convert this to a rigid flex board. So it ended up being a rigid flex metal core board with RF materials. We ended up with RF materials on the top. Again, the four layers of Rogers, like the first phase. We ended up with eight layers of digital at the bottom, but in that was included the rigid flex portion. And then we actually bonded the two uh, to the metal core using thermally conductive prepregs. So now all of a sudden, we've got what we really term as the kitchen sink board, where we end up with having RF materials on the top, we have metal core in the middle, we've got digital, on, digital FR4 on the bottom, and we end up with uh, thermally conductive prepregs that we utilized. So this was a project that took a lot of upfront engineering with our customer, and we had to spend literally uh, three months in the engineering process before we ever saw a PO or before we ever got a commitment from a customer in order to be able to build this board.